Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the most consistent Warwick build to carry you out of low elo. This build is a 65% win rate full clear build. It sets you up with an early team at even without having a successful gank early on. You should finish your full clear around 325, which is at the same speed as a Kha'Zix full clear. For our runes, we have Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, with free boots, Futures Market, Attack Speed, AD, and Armor. Should be a fun game. Up against Lee Sin, he took Ignite and First Strike. Highly wouldn't recommend that. We should be able to survive his burst quite handily. I'm just going to get my ward down, have it cover the pit option in here. So if he does invade level one, level two, we'll see it coming. We should still be able to solo him even if he has ignite. We'll hold on to our E until we're around kind of 25% ish health. That's when work gets the most healing. It's when works at his most dangerous. Let's go ahead and start with our Q. Looks like Leeson's just trolling around. Red jungle item, I'm starting to warm up to it. The blue and green one have been nerfed so much that the red one's starting to feel like the most consistent version. Because the green one doesn't give you tenacity once the shield's broken, which it breaks really quickly. And then the blue one doesn't speed you up if you're in combat. So having the red one to slow the enemy so we can stay on top and pound them down with autos actually feels really nice. The Warwick doesn't have that much CC. All he has is his fear and then his suppression on his R. So having the extra slow, I think goes a long ways. I'm a big fan of it. Just make sure you have your red buff when you go for your Raptors. That way you can clear it somewhat efficiently. Ultimately, a Warwick clear is about the same full clear as a Kha'Zix. You should finish somewhere around 325. Most players won't expect this because they're used to Warwick clearing much slower. This sets you up for big scuttle fights, which Warwick will generally win. Certainly not super optimal for Warwick, but... We're making decent enough time. The way you gauge your three camp clear time is when you're in mid lane, are you there around two minute 30? And if you are, it's an okay timing. It is reasonable. We'll go ahead and go another point W auto in the Q. We don't need our E at this point. Should be able to fight Lee Sin as is. He may already be in my jungle. I guess we'll find out. If I don't have my E, it might be a little tricky to fight him. Even if with his Ignite, we might be able to make it work, though. Alright, he's not over here yet. He may not even come over here. Most Warwicks don't do a full clear, so... He may not be expecting us to full clear. Making pretty decent time. Warwick's full clear is faster. Red buff start than blue buff start. Because the red buff on hit damage helps to get the monsters below 50% health. Anything below 50% health, you get a bunch of extra attack speed against, and then if they drop below 20%. So yeah, we just did a leash full clear 325 on Warwick. It's actually really, really good. Now we're set up for a super early team out without even having to get off on a successful first gank. I don't think we really had any easy ganks. Teemo's pushed. York's kind of floating, and I think he warded. I'll go ahead and push on over. Everyone's playing extremely passive right now. We could back for Tiamat in about 100 more gold. So after this, literally didn't even need a gank and we're already going to get Tiamat. That's really, really solid. If you're not able to get double scuttle, then you just go back to your starting camp and take it from there. Go ahead and drop W for this. Get him with a QE attach and a fear. We could have flashed for it. If he flashed, he would have been dead. <clears throat> he was being slowed and whatnot. Auto into Q. Our goal isn't to steal the minions. Our goal is to just push the wave so our teammates can spend gold advantage and reset and whatnot. We don't want to stay to clear even though we're already here. And we could continue to full clear because we want team at. York hasn't backed yet. We can get our item advantage and go gank him. And from here, we'll go into... Uh, Honestly, Divine Sunder. Divine Sunder is the highest win rate on Warwick right now. 65% win rate build going team at into Divine. It's because the Sheen synergy is so good on Warwick. Bursty for the ganks. Plus, Titanic gives you more AD the more health you have anyway. So going Titanic second item is actually a bit more optimal. He needs to give me that movement speed bonus, dude. He needed to keep hitting him. We're in behind him. Cut him off here. We get the Q through, auto into fear. Uh, Orn got the kill. It's not really what I wanted. Not a huge deal though. We'll keep maxing our W first here. Oh, Zed, what are you doing, my dude? 
We're going to auto Q flash. We get the attachment. Down he goes. We need to hide behind a minion's tier so he can't hit us with his Q. We get the Q attachment. Down he goes. I don't think he can actually kill us here. I have too much healing at this health threshold. We get the Q through. Yeah, he literally can't kill me like that. He just lost all of his health. That's one thing. If you don't have the burst or the heal cut to kill a low health Warwick, don't even try because he'll slice you up. We're getting extreme extra healing. And then once they're low on health, we get even more attack speed. We got the ZR there as well. That was a really good... Having the minions there probably saved me. I could stand behind them so Lee Sin could hit me with the Q. Auto attack Q reset. Definitely my favorite way to play Warwick at the moment. Because if you just do a few camps, look for a gank. If you don't find anything, the game can start to feel really weird. Like you just don't have any options. But doing a full clear in a scuttle fight, Warwick wins pretty much every scuttle fight. Unless it's a ranged jungler, like a Teemo, Kindred, or Grace who can kite you out. And even then, they have to kind of know what they're doing and move mostly efficiently in between autos. If they're doing any standing still or any... If they stutter and click past you or anything like that, you'll be able to slice them up. We're going to be hitting a pre-7 minute 30 level 6. Very solid for a champion like Warwick, who isn't traditionally considered a full clear champion. Although, at this point, being able to do a 320 full clear with leash on Warwick, I'm extremely happy with that. Extremely happy indeed. Auto in the queue. Bot lane's looking gankable. I want to get a word down for drive real quick. Oh, nice word. I didn't quite get it over the center part of the wall. At least it may be on it right now, the fact that Zed's missing. I'll go ahead and pop on over, say hello. Alright, he's not here. We could use W active. I want to kind of see where he's at first. He might have rage quit. I legit don't know where this guy's at, man. He should be over here on his blue. This is weird. He has Executioner's first item rush. Oh, here he is. W for the extra attack speed. Auto into Q. Auto R. Down he goes. I don't want to have to smite. It's already low on health. It's easy for work to clear things that are already low. So it's actually better to smite early if no one's going to steal it from you. Like I did here. Whew. Nice, 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 nice. Huge power spike for us. Let's see if his wolves are up. He's probably just going to path through his red buff, if I had to guess. I'll go for Zed here. I'll push mid. You might might be wondering, why not just take Dragon? I'm a little bit nervous about Lee Sin just coming back with item advantage. Because, yes, I'm fed, but I haven't actually spent my gold. So I don't want to start Dragon without Smite and then have a Lee Sin pestering me there. I also wasn't sure if Zed was going to die at that moment. Plus, now I can mess with Lee Sin on his red buff, so... It's a bit of a win, 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 as long as he doesn't get dragon. Get the blood sense, attack speed, movement speed. Auto into Q. I have to leave, though. York's coming. York's literally on his way. I could just hang around until I could buy Divine Sunder. I don't really have to reset, necessarily. We're so close to Divine as well. You could go Bork Rush. I prefer Divine. Auto into Q. We get him with the Fear. One more team of Auto should do it. Yep. Feels bad for him. Feels very, very bad for him. Well, I've, I already have my free boots. That's sick, man. Free boots are extremely fast. This is warded. It's a little surprising. We actually win this. He just needs to put a, a mushroom on it, the shadow there. He's going to have to flash or something. We're going to smite auto Q, fear. Yep. That's good. Now we take drag. This game's toasted and roasted. I'm sitting on 3k plus gold. It's bad to sit on a bunch of gold because you'll end up getting yourself killed. But since we're so far ahead, we're able to press these these issues press these situations these fights and get away with it but I, I really do need to back though because they at this point they have more gold spent than i do and it's just my level advantage letting me crush them not a good matchup for lee sin he also took the wrong keystone 
Against Warwick, you never want to take a bursty keystone. You want to have lethal tempo or conk. All right, so we've got Divine Sunderer now. Kind of insane. Once again, this is literally Warwick's highest win rate build in the game right now at a 65% win rate in Platinum Plus. So, very spicy. And the reason why that is, is you need T-Mat to do effective full clears if there's nothing on the map. And then the Sheen Burst helps out a lot with Warwick's Qs and whatnot, his ganks. Plus, the uh, Titanic will give you more damage and more health you have anyway. So, getting a second item is totally fine. Now, if you're super, 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 super far behind, this build is still good. Because, once again, you get your team at because you need it. And then you can get Sheen. So, even if you're super far behind, just team at plus Sheen. It's still way cheaper than Divine's, than uh, Titanic, right? Because Titanic still costs 2,100 gold. So, you still need 2,100 gold after team at. So, picking up 700 gold on Divine is not a big deal. And it gives you loads of bursts. Because you have to remember, when you're ganking, people are trying to get away from you. You need burst to kill them. They're not going to stand there and let you auto them a bunch. Auto into Q. This camp's top this camp's top side are coming up. My R is up. I need to push out and gank. Hopefully he uses his shadow to push here. Doesn't look like he's going to though. I kind of wasted my fear there. <laughs> what is he doing? He's walking forward on me. What does he think he's going to do once he gets to me? I'm going to smite him, slow him down. This is a bad situation for me. Auto. Get the Q attachment. I'm getting a blood sent off somebody. Land the R into Q. If you hold your Q down while your R is on top of them, your key will go frame for frame after, so even if they flash immediately, you'll get the attachment and they won't be able to get away from you. I'll take some plates here. I think his raptors are up. His blue's up in 20. I could stay here, push this wave, and then kill him on blue, possibly. Soul will be there. Might be safest for me to just take this. We already have Dragon Advantage. Plan on playing for Draxel this game. W on over. Got my Blood Sense. Attack speed and movement speed on this target. Auto Q. Auto. I honestly queued kind of early there. Got the Fear. Auto Smite. <laughs> Zed wants a piece. I queued a little bit early. I, if you're already in auto attack range and you have time to queue, you don't need to do it too early because it has more range than your autos. So I, I could have actually gone through his R there. Warwick Q goes through all displacements like hooks, knockups, knockbacks, those types of things. You'll still soak the damage, but you won't be affected by the CC if you time it properly. <clears throat> At this point, we do want to get Titanic. We'll leave base. I don't want to wait for the uh, 20 gold. It's whatever. I'm fed. I want to get out on the map. We're on a huge, huge, huge item power spike. And then final item is Bork in the 65% win rate Warwick build. At that point, you could go Sunfire, Thornmelt, Vistage. You could even pick up some um, some more tanky stuff like Randoons. I think Randoons would be great here. They're so physical damage heavy. Having that big AoE slow will keep us on top of them. Got a big blood scent pulling me bot side. I'm not seeing Lee Sin on his top side. I'll path over there in a moment. Looks like he's taking his Herald bot side. I'll smite this. Need to get it down low. We'll go take his red buff soon. He's extremely far behind in CS. He's about to see me, so we'll W. Lock him down. Auto into Q because he's getting away. Down he goes. Ezreal's going to die for turret. Not really worth it in my opinion. Stop that, Ezreal! He's trying to get the objective bounty. I'm getting big blood scent on the Zed. And then he dies. Wish he would have stayed alive a little bit longer for my blood scent there. Just a little bit longer. We have so much CS. 124 on Warwick, 15 minute mark. Holy crap. I really like how uh, Divine Sunder gives armor and magic penetration. For Warwick, it's perfect because he does so much magic damage through his abilities. It's all magic damage. I guess I should go for Dragon here. If I kill Lee Sin, 
three more times, it doesn't change the game. But if I give them shutdown gold, or if I'm just not taking dragons, it does change the game. Because Warwick does fall off late game. Full build Warwick compared to like a full build Ramus or something, Warwick's pretty useless. Against most comps. And uh, maybe against their comp, I'd be fine because they don't have that much CC. It's mainly just Soul and the Lee Sin kick. There's a lot of comps where you can't really get on their AD carry because it's an Ash or a Zaya R or something like that. Pop our Blood Scent. Is a... We get the attachment. <laughs> That's a double fear. Okay. Alright. We'll take it. Let's see if his... I know he already got his red buff. Let's see if these are up. Alright, those are up. I'll help myself then. They can't fight me at all, 2v1. It's not going to work. Too girthy. Too beefy. Let's head over for Harold. Orin's having some internet issues here. I'll just take the portal. It's basically just as fast as walking all the way around. <laughs> we have dual dragon advantage. Some of my teammates have shut down gold. Hopefully they don't give that away. The enemies are pretty much tied up in CS. It's not like they're turbo far behind. We just have more kills right now. Alright, drop the W. Lee Sin, what are you doing? We get the Q attachment into fear. Now we got permanent blood scent because he's below half health. Yeah, he's a goner. He, sh he shouldn't be trying to contest this at all. Even if he gets it, if I kill him, it's not really worth it for him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the whole map. The more of them that are dead, the less of them to burst me down when I'm low health. And Lee Sin R is one of their most useful tools for getting me off of them. I'm on a fat blood scent. Who's low? This is bringing me way inside of the map. Someone was extremely low there. Love getting those big blood scents. Saul's pushing around. He only has tier one boots. Oh. Again with the auto Q fear. Auto auto. I don't, I'm not sure if I could have gotten him with my R or not. I didn't want to risk it missing though. Could R the Ezreal there. I don't want him to jump away though. Whether I kill them or not doesn't change the game at all, but if they kill me, they get a thousand gold. That absolutely changes the game. Can he start building me items yet? That'd be nice if he could buff up one of my items here. These are a lot of words, man. I do have Herald. I would prefer us to get a pick <coughs> before I lay it, though. That way we can get two or three bops and instead of one. The uh, headbutts. Two Herald headbutts is a successful Herald lay and one or less is not great. Pretty low value, one or less. We can get a huge chunk of our board. They're not they're not really stepping up. I think they're kind of conceding. A bit we'll go ahead pick up lucids lucids seem like a weird option but they're actually really strong they make you tankier since warwick is such a big self healer now if they have so much cc that you can't even hit anybody then yeah go for merc treads or plated it's still caps stay alive if you need magic resistor armor against their team we'd go for plated lucids are cheaper though we can spam our e more for damage reduction which is huge plus the fear and our q more for massive 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 self healing basically all we need right now like I said if you're really far behind or specifically if they just have way too much of a front line you should just go plated or mercs because you're not going to survive long enough to use your E twice in that situation against their team I can survive 10 seconds we're kind of just camping on drags they're not getting their jungle camp, so they are missing more CS than us. 
We have a cannon wave here. It's not a horrible time to lay Herald. This dragon's coming up. So we can also go for Baron. Hey, friends. Q through. Get the attachment. Flash, fear, auto, auto. Smite him down. Auto. Oof. Zed almost chunked me there. <laughs> almost. We get two Herald bops. We definitely get the third. Do we get a fourth? Come on, Shelly, jump! Darn you, Helly. Shelly. <clears throat> she just wouldn't go in again. She started walking around, went in for an auto, and then started the headbutt animation. That was a three bop right there. I almost got the fourth. Yeah, this game's over, dude. We end here. Get the Q through. Get his flash. Oof. Oh, the Ezreal R. He gets the double. Down goes Zed. Well played to the Ezreal, man. That was kind of spicy. Big props for that. I was trying to end and he punished me for it. <laughs> now we look for Dragon. Then we can play for Drag Soul. The third Dragon is probably the most important Dragon in the game. Because whichever team is winning typically has the first two. So if they do get the third, they're going to get soul, right? It's going to happen. But if they don't get the third one, now they've lost so much tempo, the odds of them getting soul. So the third drag is the most important by far. It determines everything. So we're going to walk up, take it, and then we'll look for Baron. We could just force a uh, five-man and probably. Ezreal did just get a fudge load of gold, though, so... It wouldn't uh, be very fun to try to end like that. I'd say there's no rush. Our, our comp scales. Orin is arguably the best scaling tank in the game through his free item upgrades he gives to his teammates. He basically gives you a half a free item. So, like a half full item is how many stats it gives. It's a lot. And you only have a maximum of six item slots on a character. So in a game where no one picks an infinitely scaling champion like Vigar or Nasus or Kindred or Senna, these Ornn item upgrades are extremely potent. Go ahead and lay our control word. I never did get an Oracles this game. It doesn't matter that much, to be honest with you, in the current jungle meta. But uh, you should get it around Dragon. This game was so snowball, it didn't really matter at all. Gonna W into R. Down he goes. Now I gotta run all the way back around. Wing before you R is generally good because you get the extra R range from the W movement speed. That's why we did that there. Now we can just walk it in. Walk it in. Rallying Souls give me a big blood scent. Go ahead and W active. I want to get in on these guys. Moving 532. My goodness. That is Zed. He jumped all the way back. I got him with the slow on my red buff jungle. Not on my red buff, but my red jungle item. Oh, what? He's shredding me, dude. What is Orn doing? Yeah, you're dead. You turned. The Ezreal damage is pretty nuts, actually. I wanted to smite him. Couldn't quite get it. That's GG's, though, man. The full clear Warwick jungle strats with the 65% win rate build. This game was pretty short, so let's go ahead and do a part two. In this game, the enemies hard invaded my bot side jungle, so we have no choice but to start in their jungle. This is pretty risky for Warwick because he doesn't have a very good way of escaping level one. However, you can fight to the death pretty hard level one, so I go ahead and bring the Yasuo with me, and we're going to start on the Kha'Zix Red. I still want to try to do a full clear to get as much gold and XP as possible to get that early team at rush going. Warwick into Kha'Zix is a bit of a coin flippy matchup, especially since Kha'Zix is hyper meta right now, but traditionally Warwick is supposed to counter Kha'Zix. That's really, really lame of them. That's fine. I'll be taking what I can get here. Looks like Kha'Zix is already looking for a gank. Minions are going to see me. I don't care. 
They can see me all they want. I'm going to take his three camps. Bard. Oof. So they traded off one for one there because that's not the end of the world. I'm going to fall that blood scent into rap camp. Bard's about to die if he doesn't flash. Auto into Q. Auto into Q. Cinder's going to think about coming over here. I don't know if this is warded or not either. This is a very strange situation. I am on a blood scent here. I can follow this in. Alright, he gets it. I'm on a blood scent bot side. I'll follow this down. So Kyle lost his whole top side. He did get a kill though. It's probably worth it for him in the long run. He needs to get a lot of gold and whatnot. He's also very level 6 for Alliance, so we'll see. He typically cheeses down dragons. We didn't get 2 points in W this time. Just because kind of how things were going, so... Our clear is going to be a little bit slower. Just a little bit. Auto into Q. Yasuo is going way too deep there. I might be able to... Let me tank. Ah... Oh. Dang, that's rough. Go through. Alright, we're chilling. We're chilling. She's dead. She loses all those minions. Activate W. He's not over here. We'll get another point in W. My whole bot side's still up, so he must have gone for his blue buff. We're chilling, dude. Capri 6 really isn't that strong. It's more like at his level 6 is when he gets like really, really crazy strong. I'm going to go kill Syndra now. Might as well. We get the attachment into the fear. I actually win this. I have lethal tempo. He has first strike. Alright, we're chilling. This wave's going to be here for my mid laner. I set it up for him. We'll see if Scuttle's still up. Uh, Alright, Scuttle's down. We could back for Tiamat. This is a little risky running around as low as health as I am. It's a little bit uh, risky for sure. I'm very, very low on health. I, this is probably warded too. Yeah, I don't really want it. I just want to get my team at, start building into Divine. Pick up this, and we'll go for my Gromp here. Gromp or Wolves, whichever one's up. I know Wolves are up. I don't remember if Gromp's going to be up in time. I wasn't really keeping tabs on that. Some people use software. It's basically cheating. It tells them the timers of everything on screen. It's wild that Riot allows it because you don't have that function in-game whatsoever. I guess that would actually be pretty useful to have. Auto into Q. Got a blood scent on the Draven. We can follow that down. It'd be good to wipe away his stacks. My teammates can keep him below half health. Looks like Bard reset, so I'm not even in a hurry now. With Teammate, you can clear your camp so much faster. These AoE camps, we don't even have to auto the small raptors. Zezreel's doing pretty good, man. He's putting out a lot of damage. Zyra, no snare here. I'll pop W on Draven's head. She has no snare. We get the Q attachment to fear. I should have speed up into her. There we Q in behind. Auto, auto, auto. Very nice, nice, nice. We want to get these low for the Ezreal. Without taking too many. I wasn't really trying to take any of them. I was just trying to get the wave low for him. Kha'Zix is in trouble. We got this game snowballing, man. He did that cheesy level 1 invade. Didn't really pan out for him. The way he was planning for it, too. The early team at purchase. We got what we need. This dragon's huge versus a lethality jungle like Kha'Zix. Everyone on my team getting extra armor is going to cancel out his lethality investment. His red buff's coming up. My red buff should be up. We'll go straight for Divine Sunder into Titanic into Bork. 
Jack show is always an option. I only really do that if I'm really far behind. I'm only going to try to tank a little bit longer. We're pretty far ahead though to where I wouldn't necessarily want Jack show this game. It's not a horrible item or anything. It's just it's going to take away from our damage output. It's going to be harder to solo the Camille who's got true damage. Draven went for lethal tempo. I'm actually a little bit... I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of lethal tempo on range champs at the moment. It's been nerfed so much for them. We're level 6 pre-7 minute 30. Pretty solid. I'm assuming this isn't warded. Because it's just where they're at in the lane. Got a blood scent there. We're behind them. Pop W. We need to get to the Draven. Is that... Missed my fear on the Draven. We'll hold him still. Sucks to miss my fear like that. I'm just trying to get these low form. Could possibly get a turret play. I think Kha'Zix just got to kill topside. I'm getting blood sent off somebody here. Oh, she already got away. I don't know if she flashed. It's only tier 1 boots. Could probably take his blue here. Since he was topside. Auto got my Eon. Auto Q. And yeah. Alright. <laughs> that was a pretty tight collapse on them. He still dies, but I die. That was a good ignite by Bard or whoever. That was a really, really funky fight. Go ahead and pick up a Ruby and leave base. His blue's still up. I guess they did get a big shutdown on me. It went to Syndra. I'd actually rather go to her than Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix snows ball, snowballs too hard. I'm going to follow that Bloodsend. I want to push up deep into his jungle. This is the perfect way for me to do it. To get there really, really fast. Helped us to get across the map faster than anyone else in the game could have done it. Kha'Zix is trying to counter invade me now. I think we can do this. As long as I go in first. Auto into Q, fear. He needed to let me tank first. 100% he needed to let me tank first. I'm trying to still let him get the last hits. I think we can get bonus first turret gold here. Kha'Zix bot side. Ezreal's doing a good job cutting it out. Bard with the red buff. Victor's starting to rotate. Yeah, this is big for us. I'm going to go grab Harold. Let him get all these last hits. Yasuo's an extremely gold heavy jungler. Needs lots of, lots of gold to uh, get his crit items and whatnot. So that turned out pretty bad for them. Kha'Zix loses more camps. We get first turret gold. We get a bunch of plate gold. Might be able to get this Herald as well. We'll see. He might come down here if he doesn't realize I took his camps. I think Scuttle's up. I need to pull this out. Yep, here he comes. Yeah, he's going to come straight for my Herald here. He knows I'm on it now. Yeah, I gotta leave. He's here. Syndra's gonna be here as well. Yep. Okay, he also has shield, but we actually win this. Syndra's gonna use her knock is the thing. She's gonna stun me out of my R if I went in there. It wouldn't have been worth. It would have been really, really bad. I would like to get... Herald and Dragon. I don't know if that's possible. Yasuo shield bow is pretty big. Victor goes in for the Draven, gets the kill. Draven doesn't get his adoration stacks. Even if Victor dies here, it's probably worth it. Even though he gets shut down. Since it didn't go to Draven, it's totally fine. Uh, Yasuo's back top. Kind of need to pull this out towards me a little bit. Syndra's going top side. Oh, that's huge. That's actually so important that Camille died there. I don't know why Ezreal isn't pushing. We need to get a word on that for the... Hey, Kha'Zix. Oh, I'm dead. 
Oh, not yet. Oh, not yet, boys. I'm still cooking. We're we cooking in here. <laughs> oh man, that was <laughs> that was too close. Holy crap, we got an ignite on my head. I want to get that herald down so we can get some plates before I forget to use it. He's not gonna get first turret off of it, but getting some plates is nice. Hopefully, Kazakh doesn't come and kill me here. So we get two plates as a team off that total, I think. I need to spend my gold. I'm sitting on 3k. I was hoping to blood scent the Cinder and catch her. She's on her way back to the turf. I saw the blood pool of the cost. I figured I'd pop him with the R. Cinder had great follow up. They didn't have the damage output to quite finish me. They need like 50 more damage several times. I was healing back to quick. I'm gonna ping that out. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah. Tough call. I think I would rather have the Lucids for the lower R and lower sums. Lucids are insane on work, honestly. Having your flash on a lower cooldown, smite lower cooldown. And the rest of your abilities. Because work's extremely ability reliant. Without your Q, you can't stick on them. Without your E, you'll die. Without your R, you can't stick on them and you'll probably die. Warwick Kha'Zix is a bit of a coin flip matchup. With how meta Kha'Zix is right now, it's definitely Kha'Zix favored. He has slightly more consistent ganks than Warwick and probably better scaling. But with full clear Warwick finishing 325 and uh, guaranteed getting team out on his first back, if people were to play Warwick like that, I really do think his win rate would pump as a champion and he'd be pushing the top 15 instead of being like a top 20 jungler, top 25. It's mainly like people are like willing to play for Bork Rush on him still. And the problem with Bork Rush is if your ganks don't pan out, you can't clear your camps fast enough. And you're left too squishy to where if you get CC'd one time, you basically just die. It's still like a hyper carry build. It's viable. There's so much risk involved. Champions win rates, they're based around the security and the consistency of their builds and play styles. So if you're playing something that's like high risk, high reward, it's going to have a lower win rate a lot of the time. People are going to play it and not execute effectively. You get the attachment and the R. Yeah, this game's over. I'm on a fat blood scent. We get the attachment. Caught it like ugly though. I ended up swinging onto the wrong side of her. I thought she was going to knock me away, which is why I kind of queued so early. Oh, he doesn't want these minions? I was literally going to leave those there for him. Just getting them low so he could one tap. It's weird. This is up. Kha'Zix might be here soon. I'll pull it out a little bit. Auto in the queue. Oh, what a rat. <laughs> sure enough, I said he might be here. Dang it. <laughs> Run straight at her. I was trying to bait out a snare. I don't have a teammate over here though. You just take all that. My Titanic's up. I want to back. Kha'Zix is those about to find something I think. Gotta ping it out early for my teammate. Catch him with the R. Get him with the fear. Auto into Q. Get the attachment. We killed him even though he was really far away and I was CC'd. So my Q still went through. Because I hovered it. Oh, I die. Yeah, that's not worth it. <laughs> they, that wasn't worth it. They got my uh, shutdown 700 gold. And it went to... Zyra. Push for Titanic into Bork. Last item. Need to keep playing for drags. We have the scaling for sure. Like, Draven doesn't scale. Ka. If he doesn't have Gathering Storm, honestly, he doesn't scale that well. He's more of a tempo jungler. Where he builds a lead, jumps on you, and you die. They got her below half health. I'm getting a lot of movement speed. She might be below 20%, which is even more movement speed. 
These guys are extremely low. The Bard Autos of Destiny, man. They're no joke. She's basically on top of her turret here. R into Q. No counterplay. Got absolutely missiled there. Flame Drag is the most important drag for crit champs. And for Robidon champs. It's going to be very strong on our double crit comp to get two Flame Drags. 10% extra AD. Very spicy. So just Blood Scented the Syndra. Yeah, we need Drag. We'll be finishing our jungle item here at 18 minute mark. It's pretty good timing. Not bad at all. Auto in the queue. They're kind of pushing up mid. They probably want to go for Herald. Us getting that Herald will allow us to uh, set up the Baron because it's such a late Herald. I am on my way. But none of them are going to be within range except for Syndra. I'll use her to help me cross over. Oh, Zyra, Zyra, Zyra. If Syndra wasn't going to knock me out of my R, I would have hopped on that. I'm surprised he didn't dash there. He wasn't afraid of my R. I could have tagged him with R. I know Syndra's there, though. She's going to knock me off of him, thus canceling my suppression. All right, we got Harold. I'm going to take it top side. I don't want to chase this. You got the Syndra flash, it's pretty good. Is there anybody here? Yep, there's somebody here. You gonna knock me away, Draven? You're dead. Auto attack into QE. Down he goes. Getting chunked out a little bit. I'm trying to lay my Herald, but I'm technically still in combat because I'm getting burned. When you're in combat with champions, you're taking damage from them. You can't lay Herald. Whoa, it's a lot of plants. Kha'Zix, low on HP. Down he goes. Oh, they're really blocking. Harold's not doing anything here, man. I'm dead. Yeah, Harold was absolutely useless. Zyra is just apparently permacy seeing it. Not the best trade for us. I'm getting chunked down by these mages. Doing all my health. At least we get the turret, but it's not really worth me dying. Not worth, because they get shut down. Camille got a bounty shut down on the turret. In League, building a gold lead short term is easy, but maintaining it's hard, because if you die one time, they're already caught back up. They're barely behind in gold at this point. They're maybe down like 2 or 3k gold as a team. That's it. The only advantage you can really maintain in league consistently is objectives so these three dragons we have it's a constant three dragon stat advantage Azrael should go take red he's really fed yeah he should take it there's only so much I can do with it like you can see with the Syndra she's such a strong wall against us if I are anyone she knocks me off them in chunks Kind of scaring them away right now. Surprised you also didn't take that R. We have our jungle item finish. God doesn't seem to have his. Get the blood scent. Uh, that's perfect. Hey, oh, she knocked me off. Now she goes anyways. We lose double inhib and we get barren. I don't think we can end. We don't have supers is the thing. Without supers, there's no way for us to end. Well. We got Kaw for the Yasuo. Yasuo's low on health. Down goes Syndra. Alright, we can end now. That is a GG's. Well prayed. I can flash for this. Get with the fear. Auto Q. Smite. She's got to walk around me. Down she goes. <laughs> she had to get through the gauntlet there. That's GG's, man. I'm, I am really liking Warwick right now. This is the only way I really still enjoy playing him is full clear. The other ways, when it doesn't pan out, you feel so far behind.
become really team reliant. So yeah, full clear Warwick team map into Divine, my new favorite way to play.